there's a huge crowd out here talking and gossiping and handshaking and telling jokes. And it was notable that when it got down to about a minute, everybody who had been lallygagging, gossiping, talking, fell still and silent, knowing he was about to see something truly fantastic, but not really knowing what it was. We all know what we saw, but in another way, we don't know what we saw. Um, you not only see it, hear it, feel it, inside and outside. And a minute or so after that unbelievable event, as you have heard, the astronauts are talking to the ground, as a matter of fact, as if they were taxi cab drivers reporting in and saying, we're on Maple Street, headed for downtown. Um, Frank McGee, you there? I know you're there. I don't know why I asked. <laughs> Frank? Yes, David. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Slightly less than one minute to ignition, and everything is go. Down in our CBS uh, Space Center newsroom, three minutes before this launch this morning, both the Associated Press and United Press International machines clattered to a stop. Not another word was transmitted on those machines which carry news from all around the world until after the liftoff of Apollo 11. It seemed that the whole world probably uh, stopped uh, its heart in its mouth. We have a great moment in history and I wish I would be five days older. Why? Because uh, I just want to be sure they make it this time and they'll be on the moon. This is formidable. I can't imagine that 10 years ago. Uh, this is formidable. <laughs> what are you thinking at this moment, sir? Oh, it's really fantastic. Uh, incredible. Um, I've got no appropriate words to express my uh, sensational feeling right now. The only thing I can say uh, is Banzai uh, Pole 11. <laughs>